welcome. Today I'm going to give you an update on how things are growing. It's been a week since we started this process and pretty much everything's blooming in there. So awesome. So I'm going to show you an update on the tent and what's growing, how that looks in just a week. It's impressive how quickly things take off in this tent. So I'll show you how everything's growing in there and we're going to add to it today. So follow along for day two of growing in a grow tent. All right, time to unzipper this, open it up, and take you inside and show you what's growing already within this first week, how much things have taken off. <laughs> nice and bright. Check it out. All right, as you see, everything is taken off in here within a week. Check it out. Everything has sprouts. Even the tomato plants, I didn't think uh, were going to take off. Look at that. And over here. And even the green container. Excellent, excellent success and progress so far. Everything is taken off in this tent. Every container in here, every seed that I've planted so far is growing, is sprouting. So right now, as far as these sprouts go, uh, we're just gonna kind of leave them in the containers for now, probably move them around a little bit. I'll add probably six more containers to this, as well as three jars of sprouts. I'll start with the sprouts. I'm going to close this up and show you how I do my sprouts first and then we'll add uh, about six containers, maybe a little bit more. We'll see how much dirt I got ready uh, so far today. Uh, I just got a bunch of dirt soaking over there getting ready for us to start some seeds. So we'll see how much dirt I have in there and how much we uh, put in here. I might try one more long green and uh, a couple more of these containers. I think I can get that with the dirt that I have in there. So this is pretty cool guys. We're going to have a garden in this grow tent as long as things keep keep taking off like they are. Uh, man, this tent makes growing so much easier. So let's see. Let's go and start our sprouts. I'll show you how we do that. All right, so in order to grow sprouts, um, you can grow them different ways. Some people do it in containers. Uh, I like the mason jar. So I have three uh, mason jars here. Uh, this one's a bigger one, but I like the wide mouth. The wide mouth is better for um, when your sprouts are ready to be harvested. It's a lot easier for them to come out. You can do it in any mason jar, any container really. There is actually specific containers that you can buy that are like clear plastic shelving and you put a little bit of seeds in each. There's multiple layers. Uh, anyway, mason jar. Mason jar, glass. Sprouts don't take much as long as you can uh, rinse them and put them somewhere nice and warm to sprout. So what I do, I have to clean these jars first because uh, I just dug them out of the, the uh, storage area. So I'm going to pick three different kinds of sprouts to start today. Uh, we'll, I'll show you how one of the lentils does and then two other kinds. So let's see what sprouts we're going to do today. So the first step is finding what sprouts you want to do. So let's do one of these opened. So this one's opened, so we're going to start with red lentils. One kind of snuck out of the bag. We'll do red, red lentils. We'll do some bean sprouts. And one more. And we'll do some alfalfa. So we'll do those three for today. I'm just going to grab my containers. I made my own little containers. All I took was uh, a mason jar cover and drilled some holes in it. Now these are good for the first few days, or you can just put um, you can just put some. Oh shoot, what's that called? cheesecloth. You can just put some cheesecloth over the jar, which is what I'm going to do today. I'll show you guys. I'll take you guys upstairs, show you what I do once I have the seeds picked out that I'm going to do. 
All right, now we're up in the kitchen and I'm gonna go over with you guys how I do my sprouts. First of all, my mason jars need just a quick little cleaning, so we'll do that. And then I'll go over with you how to start the seeds. All right, I got my jar all clean. So what I'm gonna do now, this big one, I'm gonna start with the, the red lentils. So sprouts will expand sprouts will expand significantly once they're in the jar over a few days. So you don't want to fill the jar. Um, this one I'm just going to put probably uh, to the design of the jar, so about a quarter maybe. That's probably a good start for today for these lentils. Got a little piece of cheesecloth that I'm use, going to use as a cover, and I forgot to bring rings up, so I'll be right back. Backtrack a little bit, got our red lentils in our jar, just a mason jar. This is how you do sprouts. So all the sprouts that you do, you have to rinse them twice a day. Once they get going. For the first initial start, I rinse them twice and then soak them for 24 hours in the jar. So I'm just getting the cover ready. Now these are big enough, I can just rinse with my hand, but I don't want to lose any. So just um, one layer of the cheesecloth. So just enough to cover. Put the cover on. Make sure you pull it tight. All right, we'll get some water in there. Nice cold water to rinse it. It does go through the cheesecloth. It just takes a little bit longer. Give it a good rinse. Fill the jar basically with water. So the water right now is above the lentils. So we're gonna give, give that a shake with your hand over the cheesecloth to rinse them off good. And then empty it out. Well, our tape definitely didn't stay. You could do this with a normal mason jar cover too, or without the cheesecloth. It just helps you from losing any seeds. And sometimes you just gotta tap the cheesecloth in the middle to help it drain it. And for filling it, the same thing. All right, we're almost drained out there. We'll rinse it one more time. Putting a little bit of pressure on the cheesecloth with your finger helps the water go in. One more rinse. Now, as you see, there's a little bit stuck to the bottom of the jar, so I'm just being a little bit forceful with that rinse. 
I'm going to fill it again. It's going to soak for about 24 hours and then in 24 hours I'll take it out, rinse it twice again and then we, you just sit it like that. Sit it on a little bit of an angle, make sure they kind of spread around the jar a little bit. I'll go through that with you. but So 24 hours soaking in the jar. So the steps, rinse twice when you start, fill the jar, let it soak for 24 hours. And then after 24 hours is up, after 24 hours is up, you drain it, you rinse it twice again, and you sit it at a little bit of an angle in a container so it can dry, drain and sprout. I'll show you the steps as we go. I just want to give you a quick overrun of that. And that's for all the sprouts when you're growing in a mason jar. So we'll go ahead and fill this back up, let it soak. Right, that's good for letting it soak. I do about double the water of the seeds that I have in there for their first uh, soak. Give it a little shake. There we go. All right, so that's the red lentil sprouts. Sprouts, we'll do the other two. Same process for both. So the beans, I did these beans last year as well, and there's not much left, so I'm just going to finish the seed pack. These I'll just rinse with my hand because they're, they're big seeds. One rinse. It's that simple to get sprouts started, guys. So if you haven't tried sprouts before, I recommend it. Two rinse, and now for the soak. It's good. Put the cover on. It could be a little bit difficult with the cheesecloth to put the cover on. You could cut circles so it just lays in, but I like this. These rings I have are getting pretty aged, but that's good. That's the beans. Oops. And now for the alfalfa. Now the alfalfa seeds are very small and just like the beans, I did grow these last year. So I'm just going to finish the pack. Now also, if you're new to, if you're new to growing Sprouts, just like any other garden seeds, there is a lot of helpful information on the back of the seeds, on the pa back of the package. So if you're not sure what to do, this is what I do. Other people might do things a little bit different. So look at your packages. It gives you a lot of information. This is just one brand of sprouts that I do use. There's all kinds of different brands out there. There's even see sprout seeds that you can buy that in with your vegetable seeds. So. This is just one brand, there's multiple brands out there, not specific to any brand. So let's go ahead and get these ones. Cut a little piece of cheesecloth. Alright, 
These are such little seeds that I'm going to put the cheesecloth over it because I'll lose a lot of those. But I can add some water first. Time for soap. All right, so that's starting sprouts in a nutshell. All right, so we brought our sprouts down here to go in the tent to soak in the warmth of the tent for about 24 hours. So these I'm going to leave in the tray and I'm just going to put them on the floor of the tent. But I don't want them to fall over as I'm transporting them over. This tray is very flimsy, so we'll just... Alright, in the tent those are. Now to add some greens to our tent. So I'm going to zipper it up because it's running pretty nicely in there. All right, well, I'll go through my seeds and see what we're planting today. All right, the next thing we're going to do is another double row of greens. I pulled a bunch of seeds that I want to get planted today. So first of all, we're going to start with greens. Another, uh, I'll do another two rows of greens in here. I use this container in the spring to start broccoli. So my broccoli tape's still on that, so I'm gonna tear that off. And we are going to do just plain old lettuce on one side, and we'll do purple kale on the other. tape again. And our tail. big seeds so I can just sprinkle them on top and see. There's 
spread them out a little bit more. Still a little bit left in there. So this purple kale is actually called Curly Scarlet. That's cool. So I could just do one container of the same kind of green, but I like to mix it up when it has come to my green. So I, gen I generally try to do two kinds in a container this size. If it was smaller, I'd probably just stick to one. Lettuce, and this is Grand wrap. Fill that with dirt, put it in the tent. I'll probably have to get more dirt out. I do have plenty more. In the tent it goes. You taking over again? Mm hmm My helper? Always sneaks in. Scooby Scout, you a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. All right, Mommy's got to do this. All right, Mickey, so move on. Come back later, okay? Yeah. Big old wet nose kiss. I just checking it. I go it, okay? You go upstairs. Go find your brother. It's your toes. All right, so I got square containers this time. So just one fun way of knowing the second round of planting was done in square containers. The first round was done in the round containers. So I'm going to go ahead and just clean up a little bit of this dirt. So these are the next three seeds I want to sow as an example of a garden in the tent. I believe they're all the right way. So again, Swiss chart, this is the more colorful stuff. This is my favorite favorite. I do like all Swiss chart, but this nice colorful stuff is always fun in the garden. And then we'll go do some radish in one container to see how that grows in the tent. Haven't done that yet in the tent, so I'm very curious about that. And look at those cute little radish. And the last one is another kind of green. I do go through a lot of green. Um, so I am planting a lot. So, so far we're having good success in the tent and before I close out this video I'll give you a quick view of the tent again. So let's start first of all 
Let's start with these cute little radish. I might have a few more containers too I could use, but let's start with these three. So because this is an experiment, and if you think of the size of a radish, these ones are little bite-sized ones, so I'm just going to put two seeds in here and see what happens. If they do develop and do good, then I'll do a bigger bigger container next time. So we'll try two seeds with these radish. Just because if you think about the size of a radish, that's not much room. So we'll do two and see what happens. These are called Halloween radishes. That's neat. Never knew there was such a thing as Halloween radish. But that's what the package says. See? Radish, Halloween. Neat. Hi, baby. You still helping? Yeah? You getting in there? My little helper? That's okay. He's fine. So, these are also the easy sow seeds. If you ever see seeds like this, it's so that you can see them better in the dirt to follow the directions on the back of the pack. So they're, they're covered in like a pink little coloring and they make it a lot easier to see when you're planting. So I'll grab two. All right, just two. This is an experiment. Distance them apart so there's room to grow. Kind of towards the center, but enough room between each seed. So. Not 100% sure how big these get. Let's see the back. It says these can sprout in four to seven days. Let's see if the next weekly update, if these are sprouting yet. So about a half an inch apart. So yeah, that's about, that's about right. Or five centimeters. It's a little bit smaller than five centimeters, but let me just move this. We'll see what happens. If I do find they are growing good in there, and i just finding they're getting a little bit squished, I could always put them in another container. So I'm very curious how that's going to grow. going to do next. Alright, we're going to do, again, these are the Easy Sew and their lettuce. So I'm just going to put two in this container as well to see how they grow. Uh, it does say they should sprout in 7 to 10 days, so let's see if the next update they're sprouting. Uh, and it says about 20 centimeters apart. So I'll put two little seeds, it's going to be tight, but I'll put, uh, you know what, let me put one in the middle and let's see. Let's really see with this one. One, and this will be one plant. Let's see.
one seed in the middle. Let's see. One volunteer right there. I'll note on my sticker that I only put one seed in there. So if it doesn't germinate, it could just be that that one seed was bad. Otherwise, let the experiment continue. And this is called Little Green, Little Gem Cross Lettuce. And I'll put one, one with a circle so we know one seed was put in there. Cover our little baby seed up. It's right in the middle. So if we see a sprout coming right in the middle, we'll know this is taken off. You know what, this next one's just charred as well and I still have uh, quite a bit of dirt left so I'm going to find a little bit bigger of a container. Alright, the final thing that I'm going to plant today is Swiss chard. I just got another big container to plant some Swiss chard in because it seems to take off really easily in that tent. All the stuff I planted previously has taken off really good. So I'm going to use this one finish the dirt with using this one and we'll keep you updated uh, next week and see what happens. All right we'll get this in the tent I'll show you what the tent looks like for now. Now as far as adding more to the tent I probably won't add much more other than sprouts so we'll keep the greens and stuff we'll let it grow and let it grow and we'll probably have to soon up plant some stuff so for right now I'm not going to be adding anything more to the tent except for sprouts. I'll show you the sprouts and how we deal with that every few days. So you show you the tent here in just a second and what it looks like in there now. All right, well, everything's back in the tent and I'll just give you a quick view of how everything looks in there again. I do need to water my uh, stuff that was in there already. So I'm going to give that all a quick little uh, mist with my mister. Boop, boop. Just squirt, water squirt. So I'll show you what it looks like in there now, and we'll keep you updated as the weeks go by. So stay tuned for next week and the update it will bring. So I'll try to do a weekly update with this video for you guys as much as I can so we can see how this in the tent garden grows. So have a look. So this is the new stuff that I added. I put one right under that light. I've had to put the light a little bit higher, so hopefully that won't bother it too much. Now, and there's the middle one. And then the sprouts. Now, one important thing to note when it does come to this and where the light is not able to be directly on everything. Every time, every day I kind of like turn, turn the containers around and then every few days I adjust where they are on the shelf. So right now those are in the middle and uh, the next time I'm down here, I'll probably put one up close to the light. Just kind of mix it up, put it around, move it around the tent so that it does get heat and um, light and the fan, which mimics air, natural airflow. So it does get that all while it's in the tent. Good morning everybody I just want to update you on the next step of the sprouts so they've been soaking at this point for about 24 hours and now at this point the 24 hour period you take them and you rinse them twice you empty the water that's there and then you rinse it two other times and then you bring them back to the area that you're trying to sprout them whether it's by your window or in our case in our tent and then you put them on a little bit of an angle like that so that any excess water can drain out. So if you look at the lentils, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but they are already starting to sprout. 
little like white tail looking things is the sprout starting. Same with these peas. The white part is the sprout starting. So just so just having them soak for 24 hours does help them a lot with trying to sprout. So I'll keep you updated on those and then we'll see how long it takes until we can eat our sprouts. Usually about three to four days. It, you, it's not a long process at all, especially here in the tent. So that's an update on my sprouts. The next day. Good morning everybody and welcome to the grow tent. Just a quick little update. It's been about two weeks now since I started the video about the grow tent garden. At this point, some stuff is going to have to be up potted uh, probably within the next week. So that'll probably be next week's video update is to up plant some of these vegetables that I have here in the grow tent. I'll just give you a quick tour of what is growing and how it's looking today, about two weeks in. So have a look. So I have moved things around, which I said I do quite often in the tent. When I do water stuff, things get moved around. First of all, let me show you the sprouts. Um, the, um, the lentils that I had, I had too many in the jar so they went bad. So I'm going to reset on the lentils here and try just putting them flat in a tray instead of a mason jar. But have a look, these sprouts are just about ready. Another day or two. I don't know if you can see well in the jar, but they have like all these little white tails on them. And same, same with these beans. Uh, it's a little hard to see because of the jar and the lighting, but uh, quite a few of them have those little white trails, tails, which means they have sprouted. So those are doing pretty good. I'll show you the rest of the vegetables here. These are the greens that I just planted last, last week. Everything seems to be coming up a little bit. This is the Swiss chard original, so I'll give that another week and then I'll have to repot that space it out a little bit more so that's doing phenomenal so everything so far that i have potted and and started off is sprouting except for one thing so let's have a look through everything here and see what's growing what might need some water what might need some a little bit of help or movement and i'll talk to you about that uh, so right here let's start with our herbs we got our thyme and our oregano and we have Oh, there's the basil. The basil's over here. I moved it around. So the herbs are doing phenomenal. Look at that basil. And this is the oregano. And the thyme. So as far as greens, here's the spinach. The long Bloomdale long standing spinach. Those are still good seeds even though they were old. And check this out. This is the other, the Halifax seed mix of uh, spinach and check that out they have almost all of those have their second leaves on them so I'll give those another week next weekend we'll have to transplant those to bigger containers as well this is the salad mix check that out again we'll have to replant that so right here last week remember we did those two rat those ra two radish plants in here the Halloween radish, check that out. Both of them are blooming. And the seed pack did say seven to 10 days, so check that out. Awesome. Now this is the questionable big experiment. This was the uh, lettuce that I put in, the one, one little lettuce in the center, nothing there yet. And the seed pack did also say seven to 10 days. So we'll give that another week to see if anything happens and if nothing then I'll put another seed there in the middle so we'll we'll see on that one that's the only one only container in here that does not have anything in it right now so this was uh, the Swiss chard the neon blend Swiss chard everything is sprouting in there as well now here's my two tomatoes Remember I said my tomato seeds were old seed packs as well and I put two in each container to uh, see what would grow. Well that one's doing great, both came. Same with this one, both came. I'm gonna have to plant those up here uh, next week as well. Now this is my kale, it needs it need watering and I need to move it away from the light. You see it looks a little bit uh, 
a little bit dry and sad there. So the kale uh, is more of a cold hardy vegetable, so it's probably getting too much heat on that light. So I'm going to move it to the middle shelf here in a minute. But I just want to show you that everything's doing really good. So that's the update for week two of this grow tent. Uh, week three, we'll be transplanting uh, these seedlings to a bigger pot, re, uh, potting them up. I do have some soil over here, ready to be in containers and to have a garden in here. So that's about the update for now. That's two weeks of growing and starting seeds here in this tent. So yeah, I think we're gonna be eating some greens from here. Maybe not much, maybe a handful or two, but I, I believe I was right in the first video that three weeks we'll be eating some greens from here. And those sprouts, uh, in a day or two, they'll be ready to be fed to the chickens and the rabbits or top up on our salads. So, excellent. So keep following along for another update. Probably, I'll probably try to do every two weeks or so. Uh, so follow along, please subscribe and like this video so you know what updates are coming your way. Thanks for watching everybody, have a great day.